Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This lesson will talk about the formal structure of XML documents. In order to use XML to define new types of web files, you need some means to describe what constitutes a properly constructed document and what does not. In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at the most basic of these means, which is known as a document type description, or DTD. We'll also take a brief look at how character entities can help you insert types of content that may not be native to your keyboard or your system. And we'll also take a look at how these tools can enable us to use XML not only to create text documents, but also databases. The structure of an XML document can be defined in a document type declaration which happens in a portion of the document called the XML prolog. This is optional and it appears before the root level element. It consists of two parts, and both of these are optional, an XML declaration and a document type declaration. The XML declaration is pretty simple. It looks kind of like an XML element, except that just inside each of the corner brackets, we have some question marks. This tells our XML processor that this is not the root level element. This is not a simple element. This is the XML declaration part of the prolog, or even an XML processing instruction, as we've seen in a different lesson. The version number is either 1.0 or 1.1, because those are the only two types of XML that have ever been created. 1.1 is not widely used, so your browser will probably assume 1.0, but it never hurts to specify it directly, just in case there's any kind of problem. The next part is the document type declaration. Again, it looks something like an element, except that just inside the first corner bracket, the less than sign, we have an exclamation point. Again, this tells the processor that this is not an element, but something else. And we use the capital letters that spell out doc type, and then we name the type of document. Now, it is important that if you have a document type declaration, that this name matches your root level element, the one element that contains all the rest of your XML comment. If it does not match, then you're going to have a problem. Your XML processor is going to throw an error. We then have these square brackets, and that defines something called an internal subset. What goes inside the internal subset is a document type declaration. So let's take a look at what one of those is. 